What are you up to today, T Bone, on July 5th? Well, this fireplace has to be furred out so that the wood boards over here that I put on here come up flush instead of these previous gaps. So I've had to rip a bunch of those to fit them in there because you can see this gap here. I need the boards when I put them on to have something to attach to or they'll, they'll curl. These things are real thin. I'm a little concerned about how straight they're going to stay once I start staining them. But you can see this area here wasn't framed out right, so I put the first coat of mud with epoxy glue in it for it to go off hard and crack and put another coat over it because I need a, a flush wall and it was anything from flush. I had to do the same thing here so that I can have a flush wall and have something for the slats to attach to. And on this back side it was off by that much being flush to the drywall back here. So put two rip two strips of Put them on with liquid nails, caulking, ripped a piece and put that inside there so we don't have a gap there as well. And put that piece on. Had to put this big piece of OSB board back up and <laughs> it was too tall. It was bowed out so I had to take off the bottom. Trying to do it so I could get it back up there, get it screwed in. But it's Friday. 12.30. Good time to have a drink. Let this dry over the next Next day and tomorrow once it's dry, put it a final coat of mud on and get that nice and flush. So it has the wood has something to anchor into to keep it true. It's supposed to be hot in the 90s next week, so I might be working indoors. Separating all of these boards, trying to find the flattest ones. And then we'll start putting them on. See what it looks like.